Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna be walking around a 1968 Le Mans convertible. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. You're up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And my name is Nick Southgate. What we're gonna be doing is walking around this ride, pointing out any kind of flaws so that you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. We do this with every car on the lot. We also do a test drive. We have detailed pictures and financing and shipping options at maplemotors.com. Jump on over there. That's my main website. And uh, we offer a lot of information on there. We also have a frequently asked questions section specifically for that reason. So I'm gonna be walking around this. Anything that I see, I will let you know. And let's get started here. All right, coming around the front. Does have a few chips on the front end here. You see a couple little scratches here and there, a few chips. I'll zoom in on everything that I see. I will slow down when I see stuff like that. Of course, up under the hood here, we got a 455. Looks like it got aluminum valve covers. Let's see. There's a nice pulley there in the front on the power steering pump. Got the wrap on the exhaust. Looks like drum brakes all the way around. Coming up over the fender. The body looks nice and straight down the car there. Make sure this GoPro here is level. I don't want to get it all off. Coming down this side, a little scratch in the paint. We got some chips running up that door jam. Got a little chip or a little bubble there popping up on the door. Chip right here. Trim is pulling apart on the back here. It needs to be bent back. some wax up under that GTO emblems on this car she is dressed up as a GTO uh, looks like some sanding lines in here so this has been worked in this corner you couldn't even tell from back there just till you got right up on it get some chips in the door there Pretty straight on the body there. Coming over the top. Front windshield's got a few little scratches. Somebody uh, used a razor blade on that at one point, probably to get something off, maybe where they were selling it. And scratched it all up there. All the chrome's nice and pretty over here. It looks great. Door handle's not new, but it still looks good. The top on this thing looks great. Good to go. We'll also be taking that down in this video and uh, I'm gonna leave it down for the test drive. Told you I was picking all convertibles today. Weather stripping looks good around the trunk jam. The bumper on the back of this looks great. Dual exhaust, kicked out both sides. The lid's nice and clean. Checking out the trunk. Uh, I washed the car. Little bit of wetness in here. Water's getting in the trunk. Of course, most of the time, this car probably be sitting in a garage. There's a little bit of work that's been done on that there. I knew I seen it on the outside. Trunk pan's in pretty good shape. 
enough in our package tray. Pretty good. Okay. Made it around that trunk. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Okay. Got a little crack there in the paint. Looks like a blemish here in the paint. It's also a crack right here. Coming down this side of the car. Back tires are in great shape. Looking up over the fender here. Coming on down, you got some extra wax left over on the side of the car there. Needs to be wiped off, probably from the previous owner. A couple chips at the bottom there. The corner of that door, it looks okay. Definitely been worked on before, but it, it looks okay today. Coming back over the fender. back the midsection i can't turn around because my shadow would be all in your way you get a better view from this angle without having my shadow all messing it up for you light scratches below the door handle which is in pretty good shape you've got a crack it looks like down the body panel here but it looks nice and smooth Seems to be just in the paint. There's also one right here. Coming over the top section of this car, you got a bubble here popping up. The top on this one looks great. You've got some light scratches on the front windshield from the windshield wipers. Okay, I will be shutting the hood down towards the end of this video. I'll also be giving you undercarriage shots. Uh, let's go ahead and check the interior out now. Opening the door up. Check it out, the door panel. It's in pretty good shape. Doesn't seem to be real dirty or anything. It's nice and clean. Uh, weather stripping looks good around the door. Coming up under the door here, checking it out. And the jams. carpet's not in bad shape a bit older you can see a little bit of the sun's got a hold of it and faded it the seats in this one look great go ahead and place your bets do you think the horn works on this one so far we're on a roll this week i'm pretty sure all the horns have worked in every video and i've put out a lot of videos today <laughs> uh, i plan on putting out another one before uh, i go home so i don't know that may be like 10 videos that's okay, right? Lots of content for y'all to watch. And I do appreciate that. Look at this dash. It's nice and clean. We're going to get her started, and then we're going to drop the top. We're missing our little piece here uh, that holds on to the visors. Looking at the dash here. Showing 89,000 miles. It is very hard to stand behind mileage on these cars because of the year. Let's start it up. Well, there she goes. May have a little bit of a weak battery here. Gauges are working. Oil pressure's down. Jumps all the way up to 60. Engine temperatures, what is it at? 165, 170. Uh, voltmeter may not be hooked up. It's actually not. Okay. Radio does not work. There was no AC on this, but we could try the blower motor to see if we can get a little heat rolling in here. Yes, it is cutting on. I hear it. Wipers. Shock me. I hear them. 
I don't think there's actual blades on there. Oh. They're working. Good deal. Um, horn, are you ready? No horn. No horn on this one. I should not have bragged. I was on a roll. What's up with that? Um, let's take the top down. Let's see how it comes down here. Uh, switch down. Come on up. Let's check it again. We'll go the other way. I can hear that motor, but it's not doing anything right yet. Okay, it is hooked up. Let's try it one more time before I give up on it. Oh, huh. Okay. There it goes. Guys, this is the first time I've checked this car out, and I do this live with you. That's why I don't know much about them until we're done with the video. I do check the motors before I start and try to verify that. But it, uh, it makes it real when I just show it with you. Learn about it with you. Oh, we're missing our little insert there. Somebody has replaced this. It feels all right. Squeaky though. Trying to open that glove box, but I'm gonna need two hands to get in there. I wondered if the insert was in it. Should have detailed pictures of that on our website. I noticed the shifter piece is not attached. They probably, when they did this, they probably uh, just sat it back down in there. There it goes. It needs the little piece. Talking about what gear you're in though. Okay. Let's jump out. Check this motor out. We're also going to roll down the windows. I want to see how easy they come down. That's not too bad there. It does a lot. Jams are all clean. Everything looks good on this one. Let's come down with the window. Nice and smooth. Back window. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Needs to be glued back on. Tell you what, I'm gonna take that off, put it back here, and I'll glue it on when I get back. I actually just had to do that to my Chevelle. The same exact thing happened. Okay. The door shuts very easy. Good deal. Something like we got an exhaust leak up here. Well, it could be a lifter. Let me try to track her down. Belt squeaking up here too on the alternator. It's a little bit loose. Needs to be tightened up. Maybe a lifter. Sure does sound like an exhaust leak though, but it does sound like it's coming from the top of this. It needs to be adjusted. Try 
gotta be thorough here. Okay. Coming down with the hood, it comes down nice and easy. The little emblem there on the nose is sticking off. The hood's not perfectly flush either. You do got a couple little chips up in the front. This is a GTO hood. Okay, made it all the way around this ride. Let's get some undercarriage shots real quick and then we'll take off and do a test drive. I do have detailed pictures on my main website at maplemotors.com. And also on the test drive, I like to undercarriage up the drive over the camera. Let's look under this one. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be looking for the test drive video. You can locate it the last 30 seconds of this one. I'm going to do it right now. Cause I've got uh, at least two more cars to video today before we close this lot. I'll be sure to get those done for you. If you like this channel hit subscribe. I post videos pretty much daily. We do have financing and shipping options. That's all at maplemotors.com. We do update that website every Monday with new inventory. And of course, I'm doing a social media challenge. Be sure to check my recent videos and learn about that. It's uh, a little something for y'all if you help me out, so. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks again.